This is a time of changing beliefs, changing religions, and changing philosophies, and changing stories. It's a, a transition era we're living through. But it happens regularly through history if you look back. The descendants of a family living near the Mediterranean could have gone from believing in Kronos to believing in Zeus to believing in Jupiter to believing in Jehovah and then adding Jesus in just the last five millennia. Even among the gods, there's occasional regime change. <laughs> I got caught in the changeover. I remember trembling in synagogue on Yom Kippur, praying to Jehovah to write me into a book of life for another year. I even had an image of this God, and even though I was Jewish, my God looked Italian. <laughs> you know the guy up there on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel with the long, flowing white hair and white beard? God as an aging bohemian? <laughs> Remember, the Jews said we weren't supposed to make any graven image because God was everywhere. And that was a great leap of spiritual imagination. And it also saved us a lot of money on statues. <laughs> But then <laughs> the Italians inherited the Jewish God and couldn't resist try to, trying to paint him. <laughs> now, I don't go to synagogue so much anymore. I have a private altar at home. On my little altar is a statue of the dignified meditating Buddha, a little wooden head of the Chinese laughing Buddha. I have a picture of the goddess Kali. I have a little figurine of the native trickster Coyote. Other deities get shuffled onto my altar from time to time. I'm a spiritual slut. I, uh, you know, <laughs> bring on all the gods. This world is too big a problem for just one. Let them all go to work on it. <laughs> Sometimes I look, at my, I look at my altar and I think, I'm in recovery from monotheism. <laughs> That's what's going on here. And now I have a kind of new age philosophy that all the gods and all the symbols and all the rituals, they're all pointing to the same mystery. And I have great reverence for that mystery and for whoever or whatever created it all, who I now refer to as the artist formerly known as God. <laughs> you know, our God problems, it's just really a matter of names. I envision or someday the heavens will part. We'll hear this booming voice and it'll say, you all got my name wrong. <laughs> and I forgive you. <laughs> I have a temporary solution to our God problems. Let's call all the gods together. Kind of have a summit meeting. And beseech them for the sake of humanity to take on a common name. Now, I'm the only one working on this project, so... <laughs> Let me make a suggestion. Notice how so many of the gods have names that end in the syllable ah. Allah, Jehovah, Brahma, Tara, Diana. So let's get the gods to accept the common nickname ah. It is the first sound we make when we're born, wah. And the last sound we make as we die, sighing, ah. So our first and last breath would automatically be a prayer. I think it's an idea worthy, finally, of the word awesome. <laughs>